But if you got a child in the age between 7 and 12 right now, y'all, that's a hard age for us out here. We holding on. We trying. But social media is doing too much, you know? And it ain't like that you can stop it. I mean, what you going to do? Every phone comes installed with YouTube and da-da-da-da. Every iPad comes installed with da-da-da-da-da-da. So, I mean, I think it's a little bit overboard for a parent to restrict the child from electronics because of social media. But social media does make it hard to parent these children. It do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Comment, like, and share, and comment. Comment, like, and share, and comment. The boy done switched up on you. Comment, like, and share, and comment. You hear me? I don't have a fork, sweetheart. Could you please give me one, darling? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. It's right there beside the word subscribe, so you don't have to look for it. And when you hit that notification bell, make sure, thank you, baby, make sure that you put it on all. That way you'll get notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of it, there's some things that we do, and we do them every single day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't get to comment like a share. Okay, you got to check out. We're going to pray. We're going to answer the good dance. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Y'all, honey, 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 over here to the side. Just being came to see you today. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He's here, and let's see if he does refresh. He is. Just being has nothing here but nice cold h you go. Now, you guys, I was over here. I got my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look way up in the top description box in blue. Hit that link, and right there you can get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merch. Okay, you got today for the food. Bang, 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 bang. Baby, today for the food, we got some big old salad over here, honey. We have got lettuce, we got cucumbers, we got ham, we got eggs, we got uh, hot pickles, and we got red onions in there with bacon bits. And over here, y'all, we got some sticky, icky, icky. Icky barbecue chicken wine sticky icky 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 you see sticky icky ah oh, look at that y'all 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 see how they, they, they bounce oh sticky icky barbecue wine oh god okay. mm -hmm. so I got some red dressing I got some thousand dollars over here y'all that we're gonna be using so let me get the let's get us some ranch dressing over here uh huh. Yes, sir. And give us a tad bit of Thousand Island. I mean, ranch. I think I said ranch first. But anyway, we got Thousand Island and ranch that we putting over here. Baby, I don't know what my pink side is either. I may need her. All right, y'all, let's go. Y'all know we're going to get into the salad first. Mm -hmm. Get into her first. Mm -hmm. Get your bite. Get your bite. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Y'all know we love this good salad, honey. Mmm. 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 -hmm. We love this good salad. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So how? Mm. In the world. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Y'all this is good. Mm. 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 Well, I get so lucky. To be eating this tonight. Y'all look at it. Mmm. Mmm. Sticky, 
Sticky. Mm-hmm. Let's bite up. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good, y'all. Let me some hot sauce right here. Mmm. 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 Never mind, baby. I don't need no salt. Mmm. 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 This is good. That's good, y'all. Mmm. That's good. That's real good. Mm hmm. Good deal. Mm. 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 Come through, Sally. Sally, you better come through. Mm. Mm. This here just reminds me though that mm, as a matter of fact, production and I were talking about this the other day. How we need to buckle down. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. And start making sure. Mm, mm, I'm gonna say to me, now our daughter is eating better. You know, we're guilty too. Uh, allowing our child to be a McDonald's chicken nugget, a Burger King chicken nugget. You know, mm. or oh, a pepperoni pizza. Mm. You know, that's that picky eater. We raising one, but the thing of it is, is that as parents, mm, y'all just as good. We still mm, need to do better about you know getting pushed that more into eating vegetables and stuff. Mm. When she was a child, we had no problem. When she was smaller, because she's still a child, but when she was younger, mm, mm. y'all, this salad is busting. We didn't have problems as such because when she just ate what we put in front of her. You know, a lot of y'all ask me a lot of times, like, the stuff that I eat, does my family eat it? You know, those production like this, the food thing like this. Uh, I would probably say, mm, and y'all ain't gonna know. Let's see it. Mm, mm, that. Mm. Production eyes taste good. As far as what tastes good, it's about the same. Mm, just, I like things more. Mm. With a sodium taste. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. And he doesn't really care for salt. Mmm. But we both love vegetables. Mmm. And Pusay was raised on vegetables. Y'all, it is so much that goes on. in the world today, you know, the world moves so fast, y'all, we don't have time. <laughs> it's just not enough time in the day. <laughs> y'all, the with the hot sauce on. It's just not enough time in the day, y'all. Mm. And before you know it, the day be gonna slip by you. Mm. Mm. And it's gone. You know, you don't have the time 
today to really sit down. Mm. Mm. And plan things out, you know, as thoroughly as you used to could when the world moves a lot slower. You know? Mm. But, like I was thinking, I mean, in production was having to talk to us today, you know, about our daughter and things. And, mm. 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 we were talking about that. There's a lot of teachable teach moon. Mm, there is a lot of teachable moments that we miss out because we're too busy or not paying attention well enough. You know. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Because the world's moving fast, and we have a ten-year-old daughter. Hey, that move fast with it. You feel me? Mm. Mm. My goddaughter, a niece and nephew, you know. It's hard to keep up with these kids these days, y'all. They really ill. And the age or the era of social media. It's hard to keep up with these kids. Because social media is so wide and vast. And there's so many ways for wanted sometimes. But also when it comes down to the children, unwanted influences that come into your home through the computer screen. Or phone screens and stuff. You know? Mm-hmm. Y'all parenting is hard. It is. Parenting is hard. But before I go to anything else, how are y'all doing today? Mm. Mm. How y'all doing? I hope that you all are doing well. Y'all, Gucci got one of his play toys over there making that noise, so don't worry about it. Everything I. Right. Um, but y'all, like I said, I hope your day is going well. I hope your week is going well, your month, mm. and your year. I hope they're all going remarkable. I really, really do. Y'all there now. Mm. You see that? Ooh, <laughs> that look good. That look good. That look good. That look good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That look good. But y'all, parenting is hard. Mm. It really is. It's just hard. You know, I think you want to protect your child so much that, like I said, sometimes you miss out on teachable moments that could have an effect, you know, on your child's future. Mm. Now, I promise you, y'all, I'm not lying to you, me and my husband had a long talk about this the other day. It started at the pool, and, you know, we brought it. You know, on into the house, I'm talking about it. Mm -hmm. Parenting sometimes can feel like a weight on you. You know, although I feel like it is the greatest mm, mm, job that any parent would ever have. Like, parenting is a great job to have. It is, y'all. Because we love our kids so much. But, like I said, with social media and stuff, with social media and stuff, parenting, social media makes parenting just that much harder. 
Mm. No. Because. Mm. I guess what I'm trying to say is. You can do your best. No. Where I was was. You guys, social media make parents is so much harder. And you can only put off that, you know, these kids are living in a different time than we are. You can only make that excuse so many times. Because guess what? When we were children, we were living in a brand new era, you know, The our parents weren't in, you know. We had the cell phone, you know. Other than the advancement in technology with computers and stuff, transportation, different things like that, the cell phone is probably was the biggest game changer mm, so far in our lifetime. I know we got the electric cars and da da da, but that what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. The thing that's basically simu simu well, simultaneously changes the whole world. You know? You know, that and stuff like Wi Fi. Wi Fi would probably be a big one, you know? But I think cell phones was the biggest game changer. Um. And raising, monitoring, and, you know, trying to raise children. That was probably the biggest thing that happened that changed the world in my lifetime. You know, the cell phone. You know, so. Our, our parents lived in a different era and they had to raise us in a different time than what they were raised in. But they still taught us respect. You know, they still taught us to say yes, sir, and no, sir. They still taught us to, you know, have a good, strong work, et work ethic and things and stuff. But parenting is hard because we've got to teach a child discipline, we've got to teach them responsibility. You know, you got to teach them morals. But sometimes the lines of you doing that get blurred to me. Because you want your child to do better. You want your child to be, to have these goals that you have, you know, set out and tried to raise them under a certain morality cloud. And, you know, they do stop. Oh. You know, and sometimes they do stuff in public that if we had done, we were kids, we would have got knocked out right there in public. Mm hmm. I know my mama would. I'll tell y'all the phone. My mama wasn't um, like a, a whooper. But she didn't do that spanking and stuff like that. Mm hmm. If we done something bad enough, we had to have an all-out whooping. Mama was going to wait for daddy to get home to do that. She went and do all that. My mama was to reach out and touch. Pow! You know, she was that kind of mama. Like, no matter where you got in line, she brought you back in line. But you remember who you came with and the rules that you had before you got here. <laughs> Don't touch nothing in the stove, you know? Mm-hmm. Don't touch nothing in the store, honey. Put your hands on something if you want to. Mm-hmm. For sure. Well, mama got you in line wherever you were, but this day and time, you can't really do kids like that. Well, not like that. You know? Mm-hmm. You had them folks calling you real quick, honey. So, it's a little different, you know, in the way that you can, you have to have a lot of restraint today to raise children. Because kids make you want to choke them. 
How you doing? You know, kids just get into too much, man. And then it's like, they one child this week. And next week, they're a different child. Like, for real. Seriously. And then they smart. They do different things. Mm. Mm. In one place, then they didn't do another. And that's what me and my husband have started to look at and realize. You know, when Pooh say go to school, we don't pack our lunch. She lunch at school. You know? So, it ain't no McDonald's in there, John. Ain't no Burger King in there, John. Mm -mm. Ain't no Little Caesars High Red in there, John. Mm -mm. It's, it's not there. Mm-hmm. Unless you got allergies, they're not changing their menu for your plate. You eat with school Surrey today, you know? And she eat lunch. You never come over home. So why are we as parents running around with you at home acting like all she eat the chicken nuggets and the chicken scripts and cereal and this and that and that and this and all of this. Why we do that for our children, y'all? Why do we do that? You remember I know? Why do we do such things? You know, when I was young, that old saying was, if you don't want to eat your food, mm, let me lay out there and prepare for you. Mm -hmm. The saying was, you eat it before it eats you. Because you ain't getting that now. For real. I think all of our parents had some type of saying like that. Because Big Betty Bob told me something similar to that that his people used to say back in the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's something that they used to say back in the day about that you not want to eat what they put on the plate. That was very, that's very familiar to me. Because my mama used to say it. The kitchen is closed. That's it. That's all. Mm-hmm. I know when we used to go to our auntie's house, she used to would make us sit at the table until we ate our food. My mom wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. She gave you ample time to eat them. And when she cleared that table and ranked them dishes, honey, or whoever turned it was to wash dishes, wash them dishes, their trash go out. That light went out too. The kitchen was cold. I just wonder, y'all put the comment. Let me know. Why do we do all this, all this excess stuff for our children when we know that we should be teaching them? We should be taking advantage of them teachable moments. You know, since we can't pop them upside the head <laughs> like they used to. In public. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Parents are not either. It's not. Because once you let it get away from you, you can't draw it in. Now if you wait too late, mm. And those things have become a part of the child. Um, I don't even know why I'm talking like this. Because <laughs> my mind is stuck on a conversation uh, between my husband and I about our daughter. About us missing out on a lot of teachable moments. You know? Teachable moments. Where you have the, the opportunity to stop things that don't need to be there. Start things that should be there. 
and remove things that slipped by you the last time, but now you're seeing it. You got to go back and grab that thing and correct that thing. You know? So, my mind's kind of stuck there a little bit. Uh, but I hope y'all enjoyed the food because it was good. <laughs> hey, glory. For sure it will, y'all. I guess you can see um, that I was, you know, my mind is stuck there on parenting. Because production and I both want to be the best parent, the best parents, the best fathers, the best daddies that we can be for our daughter. I think sometimes I want to give them, give them, give them, give them, give them. It gets in a way of those teachable moments, you know, those teachable moments. We build up the expectation of the child so high of things that they don't really appreciate anything. We give, we give, we give, we give, we give, and we forget the teachable moments, um, you know, to make her work for things at times. I think because of the fact that she's a good child, she really doesn't give us much problems. Um, you know, a little too swift at the mouth here and there. Um, but other than that, she makes straight A's. You know, I think that we let the great that she does overcloud sometimes those teachable moments. You know, sometimes because the child is in your parenting, sometimes because the child is, um, good or does good things or doesn't get in trouble a lot. I think sometimes we allow those type of children to coast along with things sometimes when we shouldn't. I don't know. Y'all, like I said, uh, parenting isn't easy. And on top of that, too, you never know what type of job you're going to done until they get 18 years old. All you know is that you done done the best that you could. So I guess I'm concentrating on making sure that we do the best that we can uh, for our child, we love her so much that we have to build her to be responsible, to be an adult, you know, first a young lady and then an adult. We have to uh, give her what she needs because one day we won't be here. Um, and that's always a challenging thing in my mind, I think, you know, because none of us know how much time that we have. So the thing of it is, is we can't be wasting time. And, and missing teachable moments sometimes. It's okay to miss them sometimes. I just feel like the world moves so fast now, y'all, that we miss out on a lot of teachable moments. Um, and even, we're talking about children now, but a lot of learning moments for us as adults. Um, I don't know, y'all. Let me get away from here. Let me get out of here, y'all, because I'm just ramming on that because my head is really locked in on this. Parenting is not easy. It's just not. It's it's not. We've done. I mean, some things like we if we're all together as a family and we're all about to eat. Who say she says the prayer for the entire family? At nighttime when she get ready to go to bed, she comes in our room, put her hands up, and we she prays for us um, when she gets ready to go to sleep as a family. You know, we 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 have instilled a, a lot of great things into our daughter, and she is a great daughter. She's the most perfect daughter for us for sure. But I think that we miss out on a lot of teachable moments, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here because my head ain't going to stop rambling and, and y'all might not even want to hear this. I love you guys so much. I truly do. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the sticky, icky, icky, icky barbecue wings and the salad. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really do. I really, really do. Um, if you're on the lines of thinking like I am, y'all, we got to do better. <laughs> we got to do better and stop missing them teachable moments, you know? I know you can't be over them and hover over them and, 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 and just do too much all the time, but because we, we, we might not understand their era that they're going through right now, but we hip enough to get in there with it. Did I just say hip? Only old people say hip, don't they? <laughs> anyway, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. I love you guys so, so much. I truly, truly do. Talk about new Legion. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world. But you're told to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, just a legion. Right around we go, eh? Right around we go. I love you guys so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, oh, always remember that there's always more than one way home. 
All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And, and if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I don't know. Today was just a, a little. Uh, 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 today was really just me rambling out of my head, y'all. Um, it really, really was. But I do think that us parents today that are raising children, you know, between the ages of, you know, right now, it's going to be worse if you got a child that's like two or three. But if you got a child in the age between seven and 12 right now, Y'all, that's a hard age for us out here. We holding on. We trying. But social media is doing too much. You know? And it ain't like that you can stop it. I mean, what you gonna do? Every phone comes installed with YouTube and da-da-da-da. Every iPad comes installed with da-da-da-da-da-da. So, I mean, I think it's a little bit overboard for a parent to restrict the child from electronics because of social media. But social media does make it hard to parent these children. It do. We're going to talk about this again, though. I'm going to get out of here right now because we've been in this video a long time. We're going to talk about this again soon, about parents and about, you know, teachable moments. All right. Bye. I got to go. I love you. I love you, baby. And go get you some of them sticky eggs. Go make you some. Go make you some of these sticky eggy wings. Ooh, look at this. Tender, too. Go make you some of them. That piece of hand rag. Go, get you, go make you some of these sticky eggy wings right here. Look at that. Go make you some of them. Nah, nah. Bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like a cherry. Come and take a like a cherry. The boy done switched up on you. Come and like a cherry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. If this is your very first time to this channel, run on that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. It's right there beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that your father does some things that we do. And we do them every single day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to. Don't get to come like a share. Okay, guys, check out. We can hit pray. We're going to get to the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How you doing today? Over here to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out because we finna get to eat. Let's see if it's nice and fresh. He is. Big Ben has nothing him a nice, cold, diet amount to do. Also, I got my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look where in the top of the screen, right some blue. Hit that link and right there and get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merge. Okay, you guys, today for the food. We have got some fried chicken wings. We have got uh, some peas uh, with uh, okra cuts in it. We got some cornbread. And we got some pig meat down in, in our pea. Okay. I also got my Louisiana hot sauce. And everything, and I got my Miss Campbell's cha cha. And what I got, and I got some white onions over here to the side. See if we can't get this open. I had something else uh, planned for us to uh, eat today, y'all. But, honey, I've told you guys before, I am a, um, like a taste eater. Uh, I gotta be, I can eat whatever I wanna eat now, but uh, in order for me to enjoy it right, I need to want, you know, want it. And this is what I happen to have wanted today. So, this what we got going on. This what we got going on here, honey. We got some corn bread over here too. I don't know if I said that. And let's get to eating, honey. Let's get to eating. Uh -huh. 
Yup. Did what I wanted, so did what we come with. Hmm. Now you first bite. A lot of peas and the okra. Mmm. 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 I love peas. I do. I love peas. Mmm. 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 Mm. So how is the weather where you are? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's how it all get out in Atlanta. We got some pig feet up in here, y'all. Little chunks. I found these. Mm. I found these pig feet cut up in the, the hind leg feet, cut up in these little chunks like this. At this place, and I got a whole bunch of them. Y'all, hot sauce on it. Mmm, 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 Mm. Mm. Yep. Mm. 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 That was about the party thing you get back in the day. So what y'all doing today? Mm. What y'all doing? Chicken wing? Mm. Chicken wing? Mm. Mm -hmm. Put up some hot sauce on them. All the chicken wing, chicken wing. Uh, put some hot sauce on them. That hot sauce is hot. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Oh. Mm. The food hot too. Mmm. 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 Yum. I caught it, y'all. Good reflection. Call production and him. When that hot sauce would been all day in the floor, in the floor, I wouldn't be able to stop Gucci from getting in there. Mm-hmm. Mm so how y'all today? Mm-hmm. Mm mm. How y'all? Well, my day is going wonderful. Yeah. It's hot, though. It's hot. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. So, y'all. Mm. So, that when I got up. I got it up. And I'm the type of person, I've told you guys before, I like to wake up and lay there for a little while. That's time, that's when I talk to God. You know? Mm. When I just lay down, looking 
You know, most of the time out the window. Because my husband. Mm, mm, mm. We like to get up every morning. I open the blinds. Mm -hmm. We like the outside. Coming to the inside. That's just how he do things. So, he's known up before me. Mm. Mm. And so I just lay there. I look at the water, at the window. Mm. Mm. Talk to God. Mm hmm. When I was laying down this morning, and it seemed like Seemed like God was telling me, you know, mm, mm, just to be thankful, you know. Mm, just to be thankful. You know, I guess recently, mm, Because I've been down in my back. Mm. 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 Well, a lot of my conversation mm, with God have been about, you know, Lord, please take some of this pain away. You know, mm, please don't let me lose my mobility. You know, excuse me, y'all. I had to stop for a minute. And that was Tanja Fremont calling me. Mm-hmm. My friend Tanja. Hey, Tanja. Hey, Demario. I mean, Demari. Um, but yeah. So, a lot of my conversations lately with God, you know, it's been about that. You know, I told you guys before, I'm not I'm a person that really like to deal with pain. Mm, mm, mm. I don't deal with pain good. But this morning, the good Lord was like, just be thankful. You know? Just be thankful. Mm. 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 Y'all my wife machine that going if y'all hit it. Um the door to the laundry room is open. So y'all make it hit it. But yeah, I was sitting there and I can go through the list of things that I want in life, you know. Like I want a new bedroom set, you know, this that and the third, you know. Mm. But the Lord said, Calm down and be thankful. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Calm down and be thankful. Because He already knows the desires of my heart anyway. Mm -hmm. Why keep on blocking his door down? Mm. Well, all of that. Mm. Mm hmm. They fried chicken bussin. Mm. 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 Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. So, I think I told y'all, I discussed it with y'all a little bit. And they said that the month of July this year mm, was the hottest in human history. You know, of course, everybody was saying that the things that we do to the earth, you know, is what's causing it. And I guess telling y'all know he's a big people. I guess I can agree with that. Mm. You know, 
we're more technology that we use. And, you know, the more mm, the radiation and stuff that we put into the ozone layer, you know, it's got to tap something. Mm, mm, mm. They say, mm, like our microwaves and stuff, and all of that, that they are at an acceptable level mm, of radiation. But I'm sure that's an acceptable level not to hurt us physically or not to hurt us. Mm. You know, for it being used in our home. Um, but it's still got to go somewhere. You know, all the fog and you know, just different stuff from any chemical plants. Mm. And all that. Mm. You know, we've seen these futuristic movies before. Uh, where the outside in the sun was dangerous to the survival of the human race. Uh, so, um, I was looking at something else to y'all uh, the other day about, I think Rachel Smalls had said something to me and I went and looked at it and they were saying that um, the grocery prices are about to go up again. Are about to go up again. Yep. What they said, mm. due to gas, due to oil, I say due to the uh, Ukraine stuff. <sighs> Which, I guess so. I mean, it's going to be consequences of just about anything. Mm. 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 And that's something that the American people, mm, you always have to take into an account when we put, you know, our leaders in place to make these decisions for us, you know, on the world stage. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I always have to think about that when it's time for you to vote, honey. You hear me? Mm. Mm. And speaking of voting, you know, uh, they're out there on them campaign trails now, y'all. Trying to solicit your vote. Oh, I vote. Yep. I know it is how they don't get to text my phone every day. Oh. Every day. We've noticed that this and we've noticed that this and y'all they keep up with stuff so good now. They'll tell you on text message how you done voted the last few times. So they have text message. Um. Um. It was on a Saturday, it was on the weekend. Well, I got a text message not long ago on a Saturday because I remember saying, now why did they bother people about this on the weekend? Uh, but we're saying you voted this way the last, you know, mm, a few elections. Mm, read this material and da 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 da, whatever. Mm -mm -mm. And I went. Mm. Right on over there and block that number. You sure it is? 
Mm. I said, yeah. Mm. Yep. Mm. They already listened to our conversation anyway. Okay. Mm hmm. They listen. Yup, many times. Mm. I know my thoughts is for sure. I can. Like, start recording something on my phone. And you know, it has a function on it. You like to say, um, um, it would have, it, it could record like the, Last, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute before I start the recording or something like that. Mm. I've never done it, so I don't know how long it is, but mm. Mm. I do know that we record. Uh, like, if I just figured out I need to record something for whatever reason, and by the time I get my phone out and get to record it, it's like what I needed to record is already gone. Well, my phone has a capability of back recording mm. so many seconds on um, minutes or whatever mm. so they already listen y'all there's no such thing uh, as real privacy now no back in the day when you just had that landline in there you really had privacy um if somebody went to sleep and your phone got knocked out the hook Somebody had to come to your house and knock on your door. So bother you. Hurry up. Um, you know, technology by like putting everything that to touch our fingers now. Everything. You know, they even got now. Mm, Mm -hmm. The one hour grocery delivery service. Or that Instacart thing. You know? Everything that to be your fingers now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is. Mm -hmm. I told y'all before, I'm waiting on the day when we don't have to drive ourselves no more. When we want to drive us them on. All we gotta do is, you know, mm, the cars be automated. Cause it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. Mm. I'm gonna have one piece of PP, y'all. Mm. I'm gonna get up out of here. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I just wanted to come and eat with you today anyway. To be honest, I just came to eat with you. I really had nothing to talk about. You know, it's just a regular day today. It's a regular old day, honey. But it is one that I haven't seen before. Mm hmm. So I thank the Lord for that. Because I could have been on the other side of the dirt. Yes, sir, I could have been. That's for sure. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. I want to thank. Mm. Everybody wants to get in. Uh, they did the sizzling or spicy natural challenge. You'll see her actually coming in a little bit at a time, you know. I want to thank everybody for that. Um, um, a lot of great people did that challenge. I really did. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pizza. From a walking in fat woman's shoes. I think she was the last one I saw that time. I was laying in the bed. Um, was the last time? 
Cause they, her and Mal, they um, post real late. So we're about to meet that again. Or so, and she posted it. Mm -hmm. She said after you know them nachos, honey, it was not going to be such a good trip to the bathroom, and she gonna have to fast after eating all that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Woo. so I hope that your day mm. is going well and going smooth. Mm -hmm. mm. We are entering into a new month. All the little kiddos getting ready to go to school. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yes, they are. All the kids are getting ready to go back to school, y'all. Mm. Mm. Well, don't seem like it seems like this year these kids, uh, from this year, just flew by. It sure does. It seems like, of course, they didn't get out this year until you know, like the end of May, pretty much. So they didn't have of about two months this year where they were completely out. Well, normally, you know, it's like they have, mm, when we get out like the middle of May, and then go back in the middle of August. Yeah. But this year they got out towards the end of May. I'm going back the first August here in my region anyway. You know, I don't know about the region be different, but. They only had, what, 12 weeks out? I guess that is three months, though. Ain't it? Uh, yeah, well, they had 12 weeks out. I think. Yeah, because of June, July, I think. Both of them had somewhat of five weeks in both of them this year. But anyway, y'all. I'm gonna get a bite of him. I didn't eat, I'm full now. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do, like I said, today was just a um, regular day. We're just laying around here lounging. There ain't nothing going on. I came to the yard this morning. And um, so I went outside and sat on the porch and watched them do that and everything. Just a regular old, a regular old smooth day. Pusank, like I said, getting ready to go back to school. She got all the stuff that she needs for school. She just got to go get her hair done. Because um, she got her nails and toes and stuff done a couple days back. So she ain't got to do nothing but go and get her hair did. She got all her supplies and everything that she needs. Uniforms and pencils and backpacks and all these different kind of things and stuff. And everything. So... Time for the little buckets to get back in school. And then my day will sure enough be back to normal in. It sure will be. Who say get on back in school, huh? And not around here every day. Looking up in my face. You know? Let them get on back in school and they ain't going back to normal, huh? Get up, get her that all. Uh, get her cereal for her. Who say like uh, Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches? The croissants? She won't eat the biscuit for some reason, but she'll eat the croissants. Get her her Jimmy Dean croissant, Jimmy Dean croissant, or either her, she like them Jimmy Dean um, breakfast corn dogs. And get her one of them honey and a cup of milk and all about the dough she go. Because mm -hmm. for some reason, she really don't like breakfast at school. Um, but she'll eat that lunch. So... With that being said, I love you guys so, so much. I'm finna get up out of here, okay? Tell my new Jan. I appreciate you guys so, so much for being here because you didn't have to be here. You could have chose to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, just Lee Jan. Round and round we go, we. Round and round we go. I love you guys so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, if you remember that there's always more than one way home, all you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not to watch me next time, 
you have lied to me. And I know you lied. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>
Because I'm putting it in here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be some eggs back in the week. Y'all know how I do my goulash. I should have did it all like this, but I ain't want to. Because I had my, well, I did want to. But I had my other raw. Let's cut us up some bacon here. Hey? I got my seals over here. Let's cut us up some bacon over here and all the stuff. Y'all may not be able to see this. I may have to pull it over for y'all to see it. But y'all know what y'all see what I'm doing here, right? Red. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it over some so you can see it here. Over this way. Yes, sir. Uh, that what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing it all together, honey. Yes, I am. Put that over there. Let me get me up some, cut me up some sausage in here too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I sure am. This is some good old country stuff here, y'all. You don't know about that right here? Mm-hmm. You didn't have no grandma in Mississippi. You don't know about no sugar or rice. You ain't had no grandma in Mississippi, honey. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, I'm still giving Gucci some rice, honey, y'all. All right, we got it all mixed up here, honey. Let's taste it now. Mm, let's taste it. Yes, stop. Should I give y'all the first bite? I know North Carolinians don't want it because it got sugar in the rice. They don't want that. Mm -mm. They don't want that. I'm going to get to you anyway. There you go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is good. A little more sugar. I said it and I've done it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yes, sir. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Yep. Baby, I don't see my spoon. Oh, yeah, though. I got my mama's. Must get damn jet up here, y'all. My mother made it before she passed. And it's been, I got a couple more jars of it. Mm-hmm. Y'all want some of the biscuit? No, let me put y'all some musket on the crew. Put y'all some musket down. Preserves on this junk first. Let's strip that on there. Yes, sir. Jesus, take the wheel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I get you a bite of it. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, huh. Mm, 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 mm. Mary B. Biscuits. Mm -hmm. Mary B. Biscuits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. So, mm. how y'all doing today? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, honey? Mm. I love me a three meat breakfast. You hear me? Um, everything's still smoking and everything. Now we get one of these chicken wings. Y'all see chicken wings? Woo, stop that now. Y'all see chicken wings? With these chicken. Oh, I need my pink salt. Mm. Please. Oh, this one needs chicken wings, y'all. Mm. 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 Just stop adding salt and, salt and taste this up first. Mm. Mm hmm. So, mm hmm. Yesterday, y'all, I was very, very passionate in the video. Mm. I was. I don't know how you reacted to it because I'm recording this video prior to that video coming out for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. However, what I do know is that I told the truth in it. You hear me? I do know that. Because mm, I targeted the mm, mm, 
the video. Mm. And my focus toward the African American community. For one, because that's the community that I'm in. I'm a part of. Mm. <clears throat> and secondly, mm. Mm. I feel like that we're the community outside of most, or more so than most, that just don't get it. You know, these laws and stuff that have been passed, you know, for gay rights and transgender rights or whatever. Mm -hmm. The laws that are being passed through the LGBTQ um, struggle. Y'all, those laws. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I passed blanketedly um, and we do offer mm, 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 some protection and security to all that follow their umbrella, but those guys really weren't made for us. Mm -hmm. They weren't. Those laws were made Um, for the protection of other races, I mean, or, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Those laws give us some protection, yes, as a blanket law, but those laws were created to protect, you know what I'm saying, Caucasians, white people. I'm not saying there's anything against it. Because I'm all for anybody, you know, having the advancement and equality of what it is that you're trying to do or what should be for anybody. Now, I wouldn't care if the law for Chinese. Let's give me y'all. You know? Mm, mm. At least, that's at least one more group of us to have you know, made it over, so to speak. But, I see so many times, y'all, in our community, our young men, young women, most of the time it's men, though. You know, the boys. That really, really get shown and put out and stuff. I see so many of our young men on the streets. Having to resort to selling their body, selling drugs, or anything they can do to survive. Because our mm, 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 our community just don't know how to deal with and handle, in most cases, having offspring that is gay. Hmm. I saw, um, I think it was a reel, um, mm, on Facebook, I don't know, a little while back, where this young man, mm, mm, well, I was sitting down, him and his mom, and there was somebody else there that was laughing and talking in the background, but he was going to run for New York homecoming queen at his school. And you know, his mother was ridiculing him and telling him that if he went up there to his school and put his name on that list to run for homecoming queen, to run himself somewhere to stay. You know, basically, just what I'm talking about. You know, in order for him to be him and be free for what he wanted to do in his own sexuality, meant y'all know the bite. My mom made that, y'all. Jesus, take the wheel. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. That meant 
Mm. But he had to leave a house. Mm -hmm. And she told him, I done went along. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. With all this little gay stuff or funny boy stuff or something. But now, you want to go up there at school and embarrass me, so to speak? Well, she was, that's really what she was saying. So, she was like, if you go up there and put your name on the ballot, mm, you need to thank you so much to mm -hmm. Had to be a teenager. If you run for homecoming queen, you know, 16, 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand. For the love that I have for my own child. Or my husband and I have for our child called. He'll get mad at me when he feels like I'm being too stern um, on our child. So with the love that I feel like that I have for my mom, the love that my mom showed me, you know, the love that I know that we have for our child, the love that was created in the household that my husband grew up in, you know, the acceptance that we have felt um, to be who we are. From our created families. Um, later on, I talked to my sister about this the other day because I never really felt uh, in the earlier years that my family really, my mom did. Now, she didn't want me to be gay. She didn't. My mom was very, very, um, you know, old school, so to speak. But she loved her child. And in spite of, no matter what, she loved her child. <coughs> <coughs> but I felt like that most of my family didn't accept me for who I was until they had no choice. You know, until, um, you know, I was locked down with a man, a mate, and we were there. You know, I've never been bashful about who I'm with and what I'm doing, so. Um, when I saw the family union, they were going to be with my, you know, or wherever it was. So, in my particular case, for my family as a whole, they were kind of stuck down their throat, so to speak. Because um, I wasn't going to walk around them. I wanted to be happy in my life. And I wasn't going to walk around them. Um, well, a lot of people aren't that strong and definitely, um, you know, don't have the fortitude to be proud of themselves. And that they decided in themselves that they're just going to be them. And at some point, for your own happiness in your life, in this, in this lifestyle, that's what you have to come to. You have to come to the realization that your peace and your happiness has to be um, um, first accepted by yourself. It has to be vigorously um, presented to the world that this is who I am and this is not going to change. In so, in so many words saying you just got to deal with this. And then um, mm, you have to stand 10 toes down on that. And I know that's scary to a lot of people. I know it was scary to me too at one time. But I knew that it was important for me to just get over it. In order for me to be happy myself, just get over it. And, and know that people are going to talk. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Piece of rice and went down the wrong and pipe him. You know, people are going to talk. People are going to point fingers. You know, people are going to ask stupid questions. 
I had a, a person ask me the other day. On here in the comment. Hmm. Ask me, why are your nails blue? Well, that ought to be obvious. Because I didn't want them red this week. Or I didn't want them brown this week. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just people ask stupid questions sometimes in the art of, you know, just trying to pick. You know, just trying to be demeaning toward people. You know? And it's unfortunate that we have to deal with this in this world. And it's like I said, it's, it's twice as gruesome to us when it's our own family, our own race, our own kind. Um, because I guarantee you back in the day, even though I'm not saying um, that we're back younger, that, you know, being gay was a, a favorable thing. It probably wasn't. But what I do know is, as black people, you know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like our ancestors, you know, wanted us to be where we are today, treating each other the way that we do. Especially when it comes to uh, this particular situation where us, as a group of people, that just want to be us. We do. We don't care that you don't like us. We don't care that you don't like who we are. We don't. We're not trying to change your views about how you think about things, but some of the things that are said out of ignorance about us or toward us, and, it's, and in a lot of cases to us, just are plain ignorance and stupidity. And like I've always told you guys, I understand that some of the things that we talk about and sometimes in my opinion of things may be controversial toward, toward what you feel like and what you believe in. But <coughs> the point of it is, is that if, if, if anyone on this channel felt like you were coming here and you were going to agree with me every single day, that was unrealistic anyway. It was. I'm not looking for you to come here. I'm looking for you to come here and love me, love my heart, love who I am. And that's why you want to support me. I don't want you to come here and feel like that you can change me or you can make me think something else or you can make me feel some kind of way else or you can quote unquote, as they say, make me straight. I'm not going to be that. I'm just going to be mean. And in most cases, that's all that other people that are, you know, hiding themselves, living in trapped and unhappy marriages and lives, you know, taking their lives because they can't deal with the pressure being bullied and stuff like that. That's all that uh, everybody doesn't have the ability in their mind and in their fortitude, like I said, to not care what you or society or people think about them. They don't have that fortitude to do it. So I have no choice but to stand here and stand up for those people that may be watching me just because of the fact that they see me as a strong individual and an advocate for our community. I have to do that, y'all. I do. And that's the reason why I said yesterday several times um, that, you know, this ain't, you know, some things when in life, when, it, when it's, you're dealing with how you treat people, it's not always about God and what God says. Some of this is just plain, just, just plain coming courtesy to people. That's it. I mean, if, in fact, that, you know, if your child is already being bullied outside the home, and then they come home and then you're bullying them inside the home because of who they are. Not because of the fact that they stole something from the grocery store. Not because of the fact that they walked out of their classes. Not because of the fact that they are sexually promiscuous or something or, or they're breaking your rules. Just because of the fact that your child was born different from the way that you felt like they should be. Or your cousin was born different from what you felt like they should be or nieces and nephews, or what grandchildren, or whatever. Because this, this happens in the African-American. I'm sure it happens in all communities. I'm just talking about ours because I have been firsthand pretty to how our people treat our people that are like me. You know, I have to use my platform to make sure that those people know that it would be okay. You know, like I said, I've always said, children, if you're underage, build that 
strength within yourself to deal with whatever you got to deal with until you are grown and stable enough to be on your own. But you got to build that and keep it locked in the inside of you so that you don't feel depressed, so that you don't feel uh, like that you don't want to live, so that you don't feel like nobody loves you because there is. And life will get greater later. Because there's going to come a point in time in life where you're going to be able to make your own decisions, live in your own place, and make your own rules. But you've got to be strong enough, and you have to have the fortitude within yourself to be able to stand up, be proud of who you are, even if it's only in here. Even if you can't say it out your mouth, and you can't do what you want to do, and you can't live your life like you want to because you're a child and you're in your parents' house, or you're in your guardian's house, or whatever right now, keep that, that, that strength in here. Keep it in here. So that you can block out all the negativity, you can block out the bullying, you can block out all those things um, that make you feel in those negative ways. Um, I know everybody didn't appreciate the video that I put out yesterday, but I had no choice. Because like I said, we have these big, uh, right at this particular moment, we have these big, powerful um, uh, female um, public figures that are out there that are slapped down brawling at each other uh, on different sides of the fence about this situation. And it all comes down to treating people and allowing people to be who they are. I, me, myself, and I, I just don't understand how that is so hard for some people. We ain't picking at you because you are heterosexual. We don't get around in a group and, and laugh and talk and pick at you and make you feel like that you're less than or make you feel like that you're different because you're heterosexual. You know? Because we don't care. Why can't people just let people live? I will preach that to the day that I come off YouTube or to the day I pass. The day I pass. Let people live. You know what I'm saying? And the thing of it is, is you don't know who God has put down here to be a test for you to see if you're going to get to heaven. That very child that was born to you, for you, through you, that very child could be the person that you are here. That your purpose for being here was to make, just like my parents, my, my, my lifestyle, or not my lifestyle, or me living in my own purpose. But what I'm doing now, um, what if my mother hadn't have loved me right? What if my father hadn't accepted me as his oldest son to be who I am? What if that was my mom and my father's or, or, or either one of them or my aunties or my cousin or my sister or my brother? What if their sole purpose for being here in God's eyes for what he actually sent them here for was to build me up and make me who I am today so that I could be doing this to help others. What if there was a sole purpose for being here and they had not done it? And I had not lived, be living in my purpose right now. God puts everybody here for a reason, like they are. Everybody that is here, God put them here like they are for a reason because it's something in the way that he needed them to be to be something for someone else or to accomplish something for someone else or to accomplish something. They had to be just like they are to accomplish what God sent him here for, or he wouldn't have sent him here that way. Period, y'all. That's just it. That's all. I do not understand why people don't get that. Because they always want to strike at the LGBT community about God and about the Bible all the time. Well, in one tone, you say God don't make no mistakes. He's all powerful. Da, da, da. But the next turn, you say, well, God didn't make you that way. God didn't do this. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? If God didn't make no mistakes, I'm not a mistake. Your child that was born different is not a mistake. Stop throwing God at the LGBT community if you don't believe in him and believe what you say yourself. If God doesn't make any mistakes, that meant that that child that you birthed or your nephew or your niece or your grandson or even your neighbor, whatever, they weren't a mistake. God don't make mistakes. He makes Things be the way that he needs them to be in order to get the glory out of that life. To get the glory out of breathing life into that body every day. So, yeah, I mean, 
some conversations that we have, I, I know from a fact there's gonna be a host of people that's gonna be with yin yang, yin yang, yin yang, yin yang. I don't know how y'all did on yesterday video because I ain't it ain't dropped for you yet. So I ain't been able to see your comments or whatever because I'm recording this video prior to it coming out. But what I do know is think about what I just told you. If you truly believe in God, if you truly believe in what you say, if it's ever came out your mouth that you said God don't make any mistakes, leave people alone and know that they had a divine purpose. God put them here, didn't make a mistake, and he had a divine purpose for them being just how they are, for something to glorify the kingdom of heaven. That's just what that is. So stop that, please. Stop throwing the Bible and throwing God at, 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 at the LGBT community as your weapon because you, you, you're misusing God's grace. You're misusing his, basically you're making, you're using God's, grace and his word as a weapon against someone and that's the, that's the god is not a weapon god is not a weapon for you to use against each other how is using god as a weapon helpful to the next person it's not because all you're doing is making them feel like they're not worthy of god's love and that's simply just not right now i'm thinking about you i love you guys so, so much i truly do i truly truly do i love each and every one of you guys regardless of what you uh you share my opinion you hate my opinion or you dislike me because of my opinion. I can't help any of those. What I do know is I love you no matter what. Okay? Because that's the God in me. The God in me says no matter how you are and who you are and, and what you do and how you feel, I still must love you and I do. I love you all. To my newly Jan, thank you guys so, so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one because you didn't have to be here. You could have totally know us in the world. But you're going to be right here with us when we love you, poor. Mm -hmm. So I'm just Jan. Right around we go. Hey. Right around we go. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys know, go. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys win next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha, <laughs> ha. Bye, bye. Mwah. Woo! I'm finished, baby. I'm telling my inner flavors by Dame Dash. Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> you think that was a good video? Sounds good. Get excited about it. I begin to become passionate. Passionate. About these folks want to do what they want to do to the LGBTQ <laughs> community. You know, I just, I just. Because it's not only, uh, the thing that I say is not only to help people in the LGBT community, it's all, also to help the people that are being negative towards the LGBT community. Because God don't like ugly. He don't. And you being ugly to other people is just saying that you feel like that you're pretty. And he don't like too pretty either. Bye! Think about that though, because that's real. I'm going to see you next time. Love you. It won't go off, y'all. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to say something else. <laughs> Am I supposed to say something else? The, the camera won't go off. Jesus. Heavenly Father, give it to me. Huh? He didn't give me nothing else. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>